and so today I want to take you through how to properly apply Widicide. Yes. So for any Widicide at all that you buy from the agrochemical shop to use, there is always instruction on the label, the container. And so to begin with, you need to fill the knapsack sprayer with a little volume of water you fill it with a little volume of water like you can see in the video and then for every um we decide there is always the dosage written on it yes so um you follow that instruction and measure that same amount of we decide instructed by the manufacturer and then you pour it into the knapsack sprayer if the uh, we decide that you've bought is new always ensure that there is a seal over it yes the seal means means that it hasn't been tempered with and also check out for the expiring date on the bottle yeah, those are some of the things you need to check out. And you have to also check out the cautions or the precautionary measures that you need to put in place. For chemicals of this nature, you would need protective clothing such as quality boots, masks, nose masks, face shield, utility gloves. These things are very important because some of these chemicals, in fact, most of them are poisonous and are irritant in themselves. So you need to put on this protective clothing so that you can protect yourself from um, its harmful effects. Yes, so you need a utility glove and all that. And then you measure the exact volume of chemical as instructed by the manufacturer into the knapsack sprayer. For this particular chemical that I'm using, the manufacturer said that uh, for 150 to 200 ml of the chemical, you need about 16 liters of water. Yes, this particular knapsack sprayer is about 16 liters that is right so you need about um, 200 you need about one 150 mil to uh, 200 mil the cover on top of the chemical is always calibrated so you need to uh, check the volume um, to which the cover have been calibrated and then you you you, you measured uh, the quantity of fluid or uh, chemical that will be equivalent to that effect and then once you have poured the chemical in the knapsack sprayer remember we earlier poured a little amount of water inside now that we have measured our required volume of chemical into the knapsack sprayer we would have to top up with water to the 16 liters that have been instructed yes but for me i wanted to have um because uh, uh this particular we decide is um non-selective it means that it kills all kinds of um weeds i i, I wanted to um have uh, much effect of it on the grass so instead of the 16 liters i actually did 15 liters so that i can have um, a little more of the chemical uh, concentrated in the water that i have mixed it up with so you top it up and make sure that it gets to the required volume the application of weedy sites is a little bit different from the application of insecticides and other um, form of chemicals so you can check out our channel for 
some videos as well but the the principle remain the same you get it yes the principle remain the same so that is the other side where i'm pointing to is where the calibration is they have it up to the 16th liter so you make sure that your water is up to that level and you close it tightly close the knapsack sprayer tightly and now you shake the mixture shake it up the, the idea or the, the reason is to make sure that your chemical is well mixed before you apply yes so now that you are done with this the next thing is to close the other chemical from which you have fetched from tightly and return it to its place and now we have to go and do our application So the goal is that the chemical will touch each and every leaf. By so doing, we will be able to kill them. So you need to take your time and then apply them. If it's possible, just divide the field into a section and then apply it one section before the other. And do not rush with it so that the chemical can get the leaves or the grasses well and it can also kill them actually we have weedicides that kills instantly the weeds instantly and we have some that also works gradually it all depends on what you want to achieve but i think that those that work gradually are able to kill the weed to the core